That's, that's the dog that ran out in the road that looked exactly like Puppy yesterday. He, he's here again, but he's not chasing the car this time. Look, oh my gosh. <laughs> now we're being like creepers. Yeah, we are being creepers. We'll come find you again, don't worry. <laughs> it started raining while we were at the beach, so we came back to the hotel and I didn't wash my hair, but I rinsed it out. So it's super wet and my hair takes forever to dry. So I'm laid out by the pool right now. I'm gonna make it dry a little bit in the sun before we take off on this mystery place that Xavier is taking me. I have no idea where it is. I was thinking and hoping it was zip lining, but he said it's not that. I don't think it's parasailing. I know he wanted to do parasailing, but I don't think we'll be in the water anymore. So. I'm thinking it's not parasailing or snorkeling. I said UTV, he said that wasn't it. I said rock climbing, he said no. But he's also saying it's something that I've always wanted to do, so I really have no idea what it is, because zip lining, zip lining and rock climbing and indoor skydiving are the three things that I've always wanted to do. And he's saying it's not those, so I don't know. So yeah, so just drying the hair. I'm gonna put this towel over my face because it's a little too hot for me. And we'll be probably leaving here in the next half an hour to an hour. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and just relax on our last full day here. I know being on this honeymoon, this vacation made me realize like how much I need my side hustle to be my main hustle so I can be on my own schedule and it's motivating me and inspiring me to get to that point so i'm going full force in when i get back home because i know what i want and i know what i need <laughs> hotel and we are headed to the last event we are going to be doing in Aruba Which is? <laughs> we are going to be doing a sunset tour of horseback riding <laughs> Have one of those? Dang it! How did I think of that? You even said that at some point that we're gonna do horseback riding. <laughs> I'm not thinking straight on my on my little trip here. I don't know. Maybe I'm still slightly sleep deprived. So here, hey buddy. Here we are, Rancho Loco, and the horses are back there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look, they're kissing. Guys, we're here with the horses. Oh, and there's, oh, that's the same, our same little dog friend. He came to, to the door to say hi to me. Are you excited about the horses? I've never been on a horse before. It's going to be a first time for both of us, all things to you. Look how big they are in person. Like, you know they're big, but like, wow. I'm such majestic. I was just going to say that. <laughs> but I think I got that from, from Spongebob. <laughs> oh, man. 
Because of her mysterious behavior, I have decided to name her Mystery. Hmm. Now that I think about it, she's also very graceful and majestic. Perhaps I should name her Grace or Majesty or Debbie. Well, she's, still, she's the youngest, so she's still living her best life right now. <laughs> Soon she also gonna start to get in train and then she also gonna start to work. Oh. I think these are ours, right? And this one on the right side is actually the father from both. Oh, oh really? Those two that are already working. This one, he's already the father. This is the mom from the youngest ones. Oh. She's the mom, and this white one is actually the father from that one. Okay, so the and the other guys. two, the moms are somewhere right now. Oh. Thank you. Do you mind? It doesn't seem like he minds. It's like he wants us to give him attention. Oh, yes. So this tour is going to be until... until the sunset. sunset, yeah. So we're just actually a little bit early. I would have rather been earlier than me. You know how I am. I'd rather be an hour early than a minute late. Guy for running today. My name is Andres. Uh, this one gonna be the leader one. I will be riding this guy in front. So we always start by the left, getting on, getting off, always left side. When you're gonna get on, left foot on the stirrup, your hands will be here. And then you just jump your another foot on the other stirrup. We also gonna adjust them for you. So always remember position of your legs and your feet. This is what's gonna help you with keeping a good balance on your horse. So we recommend to keep your legs straight, toes up, toes down. Keep your feet just in the bottom of your feet on the stirrups, never completely in. Mm -hmm. You're okay. gonna help you with keeping more pressure on them so you're not gonna lose them that easy. Gotcha. And they're gonna be a little bit short, so when you're just sitting, your knee gonna be bending a little bit. So the trick is that when it goes um, like a little more bouncing or we're going up and down the heel, when you straight your legs, you are... Ready? <laughs> Everything good? Everything's good. This is awesome. Well, they know the way, and then they're gonna be like, "Well, you know, I'm going to the same place as everybody. So why to rush?" Yeah. And then you keep them like maybe two, three meters far, and they're lazy, and they're not allowed to stop you to get mad. Like, yes, you know, I'm doing my best. I get their best. I love how they have their own personality. Yes, it's really fun. And Pegasus, he has a son, and they're also walking together from the field.
It is our last day in Aruba and we are in our final hours, or I should say our final hour and a half here at the hotel and I was sad. I didn't want to pick up the camera to vlog, but X 